Good morning. Welcome to moving vlog number one. Can't believe I'm saying that. It's actually the afternoon. I've been in a bad funk with my head, so coming out of a fun time this morning. Hence all the redness on my face. So we're gonna cover that up. So I'm gonna put my moving announcement video right here and down below. This is the Fenty stick. I feel like I never updated on this. I usually don't use this by itself, the stick foundation, but I really like it for layering with other stuff and it adds some really nice coverage and a nice finish on top of something else. And if I have a lot of redness, I'll add a little bit of the Natasha Denona concealer too because this stuff really covers. My brain is in 5 million places. So right now in my time, I leave here in a couple days. I go to Seattle. I'm gonna be going to where all my boxes are stored. I'm in Seattle for just like five days or so, quicker trip than usual, but I'm gonna try to see people, get all of the boxes shipped and do all the moving stuff. Then I go from there to Houston for my doctor and then Houston to San Diego <laughs> to pack and ship and do all that stuff in San Diego too. And then my mom is coming back with me to help move in. But because of that, I had to get enough stuff in the actual apartment to sleep there. So like I got a mattress, I got some bedding, just like the bare minimum so that when we fly in, we, you know, we'll have a bed and things. No bed, but we have a mattress. So I'm like researching furniture, trying to time it all so that it's so hard to time furniture delivery, especially if you're not present, because if it gets delivered early, that's a situation. So I'm trying to like find the stuff I'm gonna order and then start buying it probably like a week or two before I'm actually back here so that hopefully it arrives when my mom and I are there so we can like build furniture, have a bed, do that kind of stuff. I have already ordered a couch and I wish I ordered it like two days earlier because it's gonna be delivered two days after my mom leaves. So gonna have to figure out how to get a couch up by myself. <laughs> wish me luck on that one. I've also been car shopping, trying to stay on top of YouTube work, trying to get all my business stuff uh, switched over. This is the Milani cream bronzer. I'm still testing it. So in the time that I've been functioning lately, I've been just trying to do one thing at a time. I'm also still dealing with this friggin' thing that I mentioned like over the holidays that was happening. That's still going on. So that's been a whole other just like added stress throughout this, but it's fine figuring it out, but I'm excited. I actually really like moving. <laughs> I like the process. So if there's anything specific that you guys want to see with the moving vlogs and moving content coming up, let me know. These are everywhere right now. I have been really liking this eyeliner. It's by Catrice and it's the 20 hour matte liner. I need to keep trying this. This is the Elf Lash It Loud Voluminizing Mascara because I feel like last time I used this, I think it transferred a ton or flaked a lot. I remember something was happening. Love the Lash and Roll Mascara though. I'm not into this. This is the Duck Plump. It's weirdly spicy. It's not even like the normal tingle with a plumping product. It's literally tastes spicy. Uh, I just found an eyelash dangling off this that whole time. This top and my jeans are from ThreadUp. Got a whole big box here. We're gonna try on a few items, but I wanted to thank ThreadUp for continuing to support my channel and sponsoring a portion of today's video. <laughs> choking on air. I'm so excited. ThreadUp's an online thrift store if you haven't heard of it. The way I find really good things on ThreadUp is, well, first of all, I have my sizes pre-saved, so it just makes, you know, sorting through stuff so much easier than in, in an actual, like, physical thrift store. And then I also have my go-to brands that I always look for on ThreadUp. So I usually do, like, Abercrombie, Nike. Uh, this time I looked at Athleta, Outdoor Voices, because I've been wanting to try one of their athletic dress things. Like, if there's brands you know you like, just sort by that. That's how I usually find really good things. And I have a lot of clothes that I've thrifted from ThreadUp over the years that I continuously wear. It's just a good way to, you know, shop sustainably. You're giving things a new life. Right now, ThreadUp's giving you guys 35% off your first order with the code Taylor. So I'll have that link down below. I'm gonna show you a few of the finds. These Levi's jeans, I'm so excited about. They're at the point where, you know, when the top button's a, it's a little tight, but I'm gonna push through because I really like these. The estimated retail price on these is $64. And I got them, I'm looking at my order. I got them for $15.99. I feel like I always hear things about the Outdoor Voices brand and they're pricey. They're kind of known for these like athletic, athleisure kind of dresses. I tanned my upper body and not my legs, so. <laughs> but the estimated retail price on this is $96. 
you guys, I got this for $16.20. So I feel like Threadup's also just a good way to like try out different brands. It does have this nice built-in short liner underneath. I'm in a full squat right now. <laughs> Getting brim. I got this denim jacket, which I feel like is exactly the type I've been looking for. The ones that I have are almost like too fitted. And I feel like these are more in style right now with like the baggier arms. And I love the pockets on these. Super cute. I've been wanting to try Athleta leggings for forever. And again, get a way to try it without committing to like the, you know, the full price tag normally. These are normally, the estimated retail is $99. And I got these for $14.30. They're like Capri kind of style. Okay, these leggings are also Athleta, but these ones feel like butter. This material is super soft. Let's pop my new jacket back on. You also can shop my favorites. Like I'm gonna go through for you guys and favorite a bunch of items. So you can either shop that exact piece or something similar. So I'll have ThreadUp listed down below. Again, you can use the code Taylor to get 35% off your first order on ThreadUp. Okay, apartment tour. So I'm starting in what I think is gonna be the office. Like I'm debating if I wanna make this one the bedroom or the other one my filming room slash office, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this one because it has really good light, but it's not direct sunlight, which is the best for filming. I'm on wide angle right now. This room is like good size, but I think, you know, wide angle always makes it look a little bigger. But so as I'm going through this, I'll probably try to talk through like where I'm thinking things are gonna go. So on that wall right there, I think I'm gonna do a standing desk and then walking treadmill because over here is like the really good direct lights. I'm thinking of getting like a V-shaped filming table again so I can have like makeup and vanity with like a mirror on that wall and then go this way to film. This closet is a cool shape. It's like a, I mean, you can see. <laughs> okay, hear me out. Over here, I was weirdly thinking of doing like a cozy book nook kind of thing with like cool string lights and stuff because honestly there's a ton of storage space here so i don't think i'm gonna need all of this storage especially if i have stuff on you know this wall and i can put in more shelves and stuff if i need it but there's a, there's other closets so i might do something cool here let me know what you think it does slide all the way shut so i could make it like a really cool moody kind of area there's washer dryer we love that it is a two bath so this one will be when hopefully people come and stay with me or holding some of my makeup and products for filming in there. Here is the second room, which I literally just got a mattress delivered, but they delivered the wrong one. So they have to come back, that's okay. It's not gonna go right here. There's more room, I'll probably slide it like this direction. But here's what I think will be the bedroom. And as you can see, there's light pouring in right now, which won't be great for filming so this room has a huge closet really nice size closet love this and i'm deciding if i want to do like a dresser right here ikea cube kind of things we'll see all of that up there for hanging and then here's the second bathroom this vanity is a tiny bit i think it's smaller it looks a little bit smaller to me but like barely there's still tons of good storage and stuff and I think this bathtub might be bigger. This is like a really nice, big, huge, like wide soaking tub. I really like the countertops. I don't know if brown is 100% my vibe, but it's fine. And the walls are like, they look kind of like a whitish gray to me. I'm glad they're not yellowy. I don't know if you can tell on camera. They're not like a tan and they're not pure white. So this is a huge closet that I already have some stuff in, but this is amazing. What is this? That's weird, that's locked. Is this where the water tank is? But it's, it's interesting. So it's like an open living room slash kitchen. I love the light in here. It's so nice. There's windows on that side and on that side. I really am trying to think about the layout of the couch here though, because I don't want to block the biggest window, which is over here. And then there's some sliding doors right there. I'm trying not to like show you outside. I'm thinking I might do something I haven't done in my other apartments before and put the couch like not fully against a wall. Like if I get a sectional kind of thing going that way to kind of block off the kitchen and the living room space and then I can put the TV and stuff right here, maybe a little coffee cart thing right there. Or I could put the coffee cart actually on this, the other side of this wall or that wall. But I kind of like the idea of breaking it up a bit and then like behind the couch, you know how you can put those little cute little just decor table kind of things or like a dining 
small rectangular dining table behind the couch right here. I think that might be good. And then doing a kitchen island like right here so I have more room to cook. I like that it has these open shelves. I think I'm gonna store some cute like dishware and wine glasses and stuff right there. Dishwasher. There's a decent amount of kitchen storage, but I do think the island will be nice to store a couple things, like if I get one of those islands with, you know, built-in storage down below so that I can use, like store some of the dishes in the island, but then put some food and stuff in here. But there's also enough room on this wall, for example. This is a big wall, so I could put like a coffee cart right here or put, I mean, it'd be kind of weird to put like a food storage thing right there, so I don't think I would do that, but some like maybe like a little appliance thing. I think a coffee cart would be the cutest right here because it's kind of connecting like the bedroom with the kitchen and that would free up like counter space to where the coffee machine and stuff would be on. have a test strand going. <laughs> Let's talk about the hair, hair update. So by the way, I look freaking wild because I have a whole eye situation. I'm on antibiotics. <laughs> My eyes all swollen. There's been an update in between the last hair update. If you missed it, I had box black dye for years. I did a whole like hair makeover video. I'll link right here and down below. I'm not going to go through everything I talked about there, but I removed the black dye, got to like a brown. And then the next step was going to like a lighter, very cool tone brown was my goal. So I went to a stylist, really loved her. It was a different one because it was in Oregon. She did a good job like bleaching it. I was there for nine hours. She did all over bleach because I wanted one color, I don't want highlights. My hair still feels really healthy, but basically what happened is sometimes with toners, especially I think with cool toned ones, it can easily go too dark. She did one toner and it was like a really nice to medium kind of tone. I'm not sure exactly what level it was, but it was like, it was light. Like I haven't been that light in years. It was like a light brown, but it was still really warm. And so we decided to do another toner to try and like counteract the warmth, but then that really darkened it and brought it kind of like back to a black. Like when Rachel Riley visited, my hair was basically looked black again, but it washes out because it is demi permanent. So I just like washed my hair a bunch and now this is like what it is right now, but it's very red. My hair pulls super red. I knew it was gonna be hard to get cool toned, but I'm just, I think I'm just gonna like experiment myself and try and get it more cool toned in between. And I need to do my roots anyway. I've got grays coming in. It looks so different in every light. And here it looks like very dark brown in natural light it looks brown but like very reddish purplish i really wanted to try the joyco titanium and of course that actually got delivered but it was missing on the inside like someone stole out the product on the inside so then i'm like last minute trying to figure out what i can go buy so of course <laughs> sally beauty it is but what's nice is even though it looks dark right now and doesn't look like it didn't all over bleach that base is still there so like once the toner fades out it's actually very light underneath which is wild so i will be able to hopefully achieve like the cool tone kind of medium brown i'm going for i think it'll just take a bit of time because i need to like let it fade and i'm doing things in the meantime so basically what i ended on is i'm gonna try i'm doing a test run right now of the wella t14 toner this is a popular one for counteracting red but i'm using it with a 10 volume developer because this isn't going to lift the hair at all it just is depositing color if you want to lift it you have to use a higher developer the person at sally's also recommended that i do this cooling violet this is like an additive in 50 that you actually add into the other mixture i didn't include this in the texturing because i kind of just want to see how this does without this because he said that this can darken it too much if you like use too much of this so i might just do like half the amount and then for my roots either way like whether you're in the salon am i recording yeah to cover gray you have to use a permanent so 
it's kind of like if I decide to keep this, you know, tone of brown I'm going for, I'll have to eventually like bleach, like as the roots grow out with the permanent color, you'll have to bleach it and then put Demi back on top. But to cover any kind of gray, you have to use permanent color. So it doesn't matter like I'm using box dye. I'm just gonna use the Clairol number three. I'm hoping this isn't too dark. It might be too dark but this is what I have. Also kind of okay with the shadow root situation where it's like dark on the roots and then, you know, fades into like an ashier brown. So we'll see. I also did this on dry hair and if I do it all over, I'm, I'm gonna do it on tell dried hair because it just makes like application easier and that's what it says to do. It does say to let it develop for up to 30 minutes, but kind of just depends on, you know, your hair. You just kind of have to check it and see what's happening because you also don't want it to go too dark. I did try the Matrix Brass Off Shampoo. I have it in the shower right now. That didn't do anything, but I did read that like it kind of adds over time, so it might just take a few, but I like left it on for a while too. It's just a blue shampoo, but when it lathers, it turns kind of more purple, and purple doesn't do anything to counteract orange. It's blue's opposite on the color wheel, so blue you have to use to counteract orange. If you are using a purple shampoo, that's only gonna counteract yellow, like if your hair is lighter. So I do have it, I'm gonna continue to use it, but it didn't do enough. It might be good like once I get it cool enough to just maintain that coolness. Okay, the test strand is still test stranding, but I've decided I'm gonna do the root color first because I have to apply the rest on towel dry hair. I think I'm gonna just do my root color, rinse it out, towel dry my hair, and then apply the toner all over. This one actually only has to sit on for 10 minutes too, so I feel like the timing might be kind of difficult from trying to do both of them at the same time. 10 minutes is not a long time. I have used this one in the past, but it's been a while. I used to use the Clairol all over dye. My roots aren't super grown out right now, but because I'm doing this, I just wanna cover the grays, baby. The last stylist did say that like, no matter what in the sun, it's gonna look red or like golden toned. I've accepted that to a certain point. I'm not happy about it, but I've accepted that to be true, but I do want, when I'm not in the sun, for it not to look red at all. So I guess let's do a life catch up while I'm doing these roots. I'm in Seattle still. Okay, I hate brushes. I know you're not supposed to start here with the roots, but this is what I always do, it's fine. So I already have shipped my boxes to Oregon. I did that whole day and luckily a friend helped me out. I don't know what I would have done. They've already arrived in Oregon, pretty crazy. There really was nothing to vlog like. We were carrying boxes into the car and then shipping it. Gloves are hella loud. Okay, I'm gonna do this because I can't really see what I'm doing this far away and I'll be back. So far so good, <laughs> I just did roots. I brushed through it and I looked at the test strand and it was honestly really hard to tell. I also don't think I saturated enough so I'm gonna go for it, live on the edge like I usually do. We're gonna do it because I would rather it be a little bit dark but cool toned than red. Like I just really don't like how it is right now. So it'll fade even if it does go a little bit dark. I did see a good little measuring hack is to use this bottle. So I'm gonna pour in the full, I'm gonna need both of it, I have so much hair. So I'm gonna pour in the full thing like both bottles, I got two bottles of this. This one is one to two, toner to two parts developer. So I'm gonna do two of these and then fill four of these up with developer. So I'm just gonna work as fast as possible. By the way, after that whole bleach and stuff, my hair still feels healthy. Obviously not as healthy as it was before bleaching it, but it's not like terrible at all. Okay, I have it all on. It's been sitting on for like 25 minutes. I can't even tell what's happening because all of it's wet and hair always looks super dark when it's wet. So I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. I might get canceled for this. This is how I had to mix the color. Don't do what I did. It doesn't all fit in the bottle or get a bigger bottle, but I used a plastic cup with a plastic spatula thing. So it worked and I still have some leftover thing I'm gonna get in the shower and just try to run the rest of this through. Okay, I'm in early stages of blow drying. We'll see, but so far I can definitely see a difference. I've stepped in like the natural light where normally it looks like really red orange. This time it was more of just like a golden. And, and I also think the root color is perfect. It doesn't look black. It just looks like a nice dark chocolatey brown. I'm gonna report back once I finish blow drying, but so far so good. Hair is now styled. I definitely noticed a difference myself. 
I feel like it looks more just like a slightly more cool tone chocolatey brown, which I'm down for. I'm curious to see how this fades because of the tone it is now, because I do still want it lighter. We'll see, but I do think that definitely did work on toning out a lot of the orange. It also feels really soft, and I don't know if that's just because I use my Garnier shampoo and conditioner, which I swear by, but I mean, it feels super soft, shiny, healthy. I'll show you in this light. So as you can see, I feel like when it hits the light, we have the light, just light bulbs and then a window right there. When it hits the light, I feel like now it's more of a golden tone rather than like bright orange. Here's in this light, see how shiny it looks. Here's in direct sunlight, like literally sun on it. Obviously it still has a reddish hint, but I do think it's more just caramel now. Before this would have been straight up orange red in this kind of light directly on it. Texas. I'm waiting for a DoorDash delivery for pancakes and then I'm gonna change but I wanted to show you because they have good like fluorescent kind of lighting here. It'll probably look more cool tone in this lighting than it does outside because that's usually what happens but it's definitely darker but I love the tone of it that for sure canceled out a lot of the red so I'm liking it. I like how it turned out. I think on my roots next time because the roots are a little darker but it looks fine like it just like blends in but just so that doesn't grow out and then my hair is like too dark again well I guess I'd have to bleach it either way so I don't know maybe I'll keep the roots this shade or I could do like one lighter next time on the roots maybe. This jacket I honestly don't remember was this from thread up? I don't remember if I have a link I'll link this down below I feel like it's either yes style or thread up. Plain black tee this is Parade jeans, a good American brand, I believe, but I got them from Nordstrom Rack. And then same with the boots, obsessed with these. It's a little rainy outside, but uh, it's fine. Didn't think I was gonna be ending the vlog up this way. I threw on a beanie just to look maybe a little more presentable. I don't know. I'm not wearing pants and I have on a sports bra. I don't know if you can tell, but my eyeball has progressed getting that sorted out. I have to go to a, a different doctor here. But anyways, doing my doctor thing in Houston. It's all good. Uh, I'm going to end off this vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing the empty apartment tour and bits and pieces of the last chaotic couple weeks. Lots of moving vlogs to come. I'm going to have thread up listed down below where you can get 35% off your first order with the code Taylor. Sorry if this vlog felt a bit chaotic. It, it's Life's been chaotic, but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.